Hey, what's up? How's my real talkers out there doing? Um, yeah. Sorry I haven't posted in the last maybe two days or so. Uh, I've been dealing with some shit. Um, let's see. I guess you said I'm sorry. Um, I'm supposed to be doing daily uploads. No motivation, but I haven't really been feeling motivated lately. And I guess I should be motivated to motivate if I want to motivate. You know what I mean? You should never have a down day. But I do. Hmm. So let's get into it. Um, let's get into some real talk. Um, let's see. I think this is going to be the hardest one I've done so far. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Don't put off. Yeah. We'll talk about that. It's kind of enough. Um, let's see. Don't put off what you could do today. Yeah. Let that, let that catch up to you. Don't put off what you could do today. You got an hour of light left? Hey, does the yard need clean? Um, prime example. Okay. You got a life. You're busy. Or you say you're busy. Um, so you don't really... You don't really stop and think. You don't really stop and think. About what you're not doing. So focused on what you are doing. Um... See, let me explain this. Okay, all right. So listen, it's like this. Say you have two calls coming in. One is your best friend. You're right or die. You never miss a phone call. And the other is a family member. It always calls and just talks about nothing. Which one are you going to answer? I bet you you'd answer the friend, right? Well, let's say... Let's say your friend just wanted to call you and talk to you about what happened yesterday or the day before or what's going to happen in the future. And you're sitting there talking to him, like, yeah, on the phone, blah, blah, just, just bullshit. And in reality, that family member that called just wanted to hear your voice. Just wanted to say, I love you. Maybe for the last time. You never know. Like I said in the other videos, nobody knows how long we got. What you gotta understand is... You putting off what you could do today for another day does nothing but take time off. Time you could be spending with family. Time you could be spending with that loved one. Time you could be spending positively. But instead, you'd rather escape the world. You'd rather run off with a friend to do something fun can sit down with a family member and cry. And I'm going to tell you what. You'll miss that. You will. You may not see it now. But you putting off that phone call. 
you're going to regret that for the rest of your life. Because when you do that, you could be missing out the chance to say goodbye forever. For the last time. Hear her voice one more time. Hear his voice one more time. And it'll drive you insane. So don't put off. Do not choose fun over responsibility. And put off the important things and the important people that you have today that could not be here tomorrow. Yeah. Let that sink in. Like I said, this is going to be the hardest video I've done so far. Because this one's, this one's real close to me. I do this a lot. Um, yeah. Okay, so, story time. Um, my grandma. She's sick. She's dying. And I don't answer her call. Because I'm too occupied. In what I'm doing now. I'm too occupied. In escaping. The truth. That I deny its existence. I act like she has all the time in the world. But we all know. Even she knows. She don't got that much time left. But I choose to have fun. And to not think and to not dream and not answer a phone call. Because I'm too stuck on what I could do tomorrow. What I could be loving today. I can love her tomorrow. I say all the time. I could talk to her tomorrow. I say all the time. But what happens when tomorrow for her never comes? Then what are you going to say? It's your fault. I did it to myself. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what you're going to say. Because you putting off led you to missing that goodbye. Led you to missing her voice one more time. And now you're going to sit in guilt and shame because you know what you were doing was wrong. But you chose to do it instead of love. You stood to be there. So don't put off. Putting off only loses you the special moment. That special moment that's made for everybody. And most people miss. Don't be one of those ones that miss. Because I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm telling you. There are very few moments left in this world. Whether you're young or you're old. There's very few moments, and you don't know how many you got. Don't waste none of them. Don't put off today and say, I can do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow for you or somebody else could not come. So you putting off could end up destroying your whole world. I'm not saying this because I want you to think and feel sad. I'm saying this because that's what's on my heart. And that's what I do in these messages. It's what I do in these videos. I give you motivation that God gives my heart. I know I've made wrong choices in my life. I know that for a fact. 
but all those wrong choices. They're catching up to me. <clears throat> it's gonna hit me like a wave hitting the side of a cliff. It's gonna bring it out, take the wave away, and then just all crash in. Because I decided to put off what I could do today, expecting there to be a tomorrow. In reality, Tomorrow may never come. Do not miss your chance to say I love you. Do not miss your chance to speak to them one more time. Don't put it off anymore. Miss you in a challenge. Right now, everybody that's watched this video, call that one special person. Call all your family if you want to. Just call that one. Tell them you love them. And if you're not talking to that one right now because you got anger in your heart or you got sadness or guilt, get over it. Call them. Because you know, they might be sitting there thinking, oh, they don't want to hear from me. But i really like to hear from them. So they don't call because they feel like you're mad and you don't want to talk to them. In reality, you want to talk to them, but you don't think they want to talk to you. That's how the cycle goes. Don't miss out. Call them. Don't be stubborn. Call them. Text them. Email them. Video chat them. Do something. Just get a hold of them. Don't put off anymore. <clears throat> Putting off has died a long time ago. And you should stop. Because you don't lose everything. See? Here we go. Ready? I, you already know, dropped out of high school. Because you want to know why? I told them I can do it tomorrow. And tomorrow came and I didn't do it. I said I can do it tomorrow. Tomorrow came and I didn't do it. I did it tomorrow. No, I didn't. That's how it went. I kept saying I'm going to do it the next day. But the next day never comes because tomorrow can never be caught. So by you saying I'm going to do it tomorrow and you putting it off till tomorrow, tomorrow never comes. You'll never get it done. I dropped out of school because I was faced with truancy. I dropped out of school because my grades dropped so low that I couldn't get them up. I had no faith in myself. I had no faith in anything. I didn't even believe in God anymore. I put off everything. I put my life on hold to live a false life. Thinking I could be free and do what I want. But in reality, if you want to do what you want in this world, you can't put off. You have to get stuff done today. Because you have to start with a foundation. If you don't start with a foundation, the house will not sit right for long. You may correct it for now, but in the future it will break and be ten times worse. Without the foundation... Your house will shatter and fall. It will slowly get ripped apart. Don't go without foundation. Don't put off. Build the foundation today so you can start the house tomorrow. Don't put off no more. Because you might miss out on everything. I know all of us did. Sorry, you are crying by now. <laughs> kind of am. Um, yeah. So, what I gotta say is, like I've been telling y'all, in every video, in order to get anything done, you must find 
that pace in your head, you must stick to your mindset of being a champion. Don't put off no more. Do it today. What you can get done today. Don't put off till tomorrow. Like always. I love y'all. Peace out, real talkers.